of, spe- of course, Payan is, the, is, is who we, we may be speaking about. Payan being uh, very, very well represented and understands the game very well. And uh, a very, very good player. Yo, General Combo. Good luck, have fun. Yo, General Combo, appreciate it, man. There's a, where's a wee shout out for General Combo, guys? Thank you. Guys, welcome over from General Combos. It's a three minute delay, so I'll be a bit delayed from when you're coming in, but this is General Combos. Also a content creator for Conqueror's Blade, and he's a good guy, good guy. If you haven't already, hit him that follow up as well, guys. Really do appreciate it. Um, right, we're gonna get started here again, plebs. Once again, we're starting this battle up again. We're ready to attack. Looks like the same units and same uh, setups here, so nothing's changed from when the last start. But now, we just need to make sure the people don't have any bloody runes on and I'm gonna watch midway through and check midway through because I have a feeling some people switch out their weapon that could potentially have something on it you know what it's like you know what it's like he forgets oh yeah he's probably he probably does it all the time he just all these little tricks and trades tricks of the trades Right, let's see. What's it? What is the plan from plebs? Plebs have a plan, and what's their plan going to be? Where Where are they going to attack? Are they going to go straight in, straight down the fucking the throat, and right down as much as they can and get all the fights? If they got a certain tactic, if they got a certain steel well, they're going to work on, and they're going to work to a certain supply point area. Are they going? That you know, it's all, it's all got, it's already been planned out. Tempo knows what he wants to do, and he wants to happen. He's going to see if his plan goes into tuition. It normally does. Um, it normally just slots right into place. Okay, no runes. No runes, yeah. No runes. No runes for now. I will keep it on this area for a second in case somebody goes to a supply point and things change up a little bit. But it looks like we are all good in terms of runes. There's nothing on, nothing available for anybody apart him. CKX is outside Roman here. Blood story. A lot of the heroes just come out just to try and whittle down units. This is a very interesting tactic here from Blame Alias. This is brave. This is brave. They're sending units. They're going to destroy. Uh, oh, they're going to use the cannon against the teams of players. Players are like, oh, okay, what do we do here? The heroes are all just jumping off, committing themselves as pikes because they're pike players. So they've got good speed. Don Morales is using that cannon to take the units out as well. Mr. Talk falls. He's dead. Deja Vu's then. Uh, Seekers kills him. So all the guys are trying to get back up on the wall now. Gonna avoid another death here, but the musket stops him from getting up. Then Nadash is gonna have to try and survive. He gets onto the stairwell. Matt Tex gets onto the stairwell, but there is the range there. And Blood Story falls to his death. Matt, Weiro's chasing him. He, he don't want to give that up. Weiro's like, I want you. I, I don't. I don't want you here. I'm gonna come get you. Well, everything else at the front here is going back to normal. There was a couple of units down, like in, in the grand scheme of thing, it wasn't major. Um. Couple of hero deaths, though, so they, they did lose three heroes um, in that encounter. Weiro's got up top here. He did get a bit too greedy, and Weiro was like, Nah, I see I see red. I need to go after it. And he did, and he, he loses out to it. Vasectomy is still up here. Uh, no, Don Malarala Sully is up here. Vasectomy just threw him off of the wall into the Sage Tower, and now Don, Don Morales man is now fighting inside the Sage Tower by the looks of it. Like, he's gl he glitched inside it. He's like, Ah, oh, you can't get me. I'm inside. Haha, ha, now I'm up top again. Look at that. Ooh, he's up top. He's he's a skilled player. He's in the Matrix, this boy. Kicker Flynn is over here as well. Amya's going to try and pick off the boy that's uh, rolling about. And he does. Amya picks up that kill. Don Morales' man is down from Blame Alias. Temple Shot does get uh, knocked out of there or killed here by uh, Tomsky as A starts to be capped here from Plebs. Fallen Ronin. Just getting it for free. None of the boys from Blame Alias are going to go over and uh, compete that. They're not going to fight for that. They're just going to let it get happen and then see what happens from here. All Siege Towers will make it this time round as well. And nothing's going to stop the top left Siege Tower at this point. And it's all about where they position oh, their defense now. It's all about where plebs are going to go and where the Blame Alias boys are going to have set up ready to do it. Hello, hello, Digo. How are you doing? How are you doing? 
But they're sending heroes up onto the wall. Look at them all. They're all just having fun. All, all enjoying themselves up up the up on the wall. Getting on top. I I would probably just fail with that jump every single time as well. Just 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 being annoying. Bravo, musket bombman using his stuff there. That was a nice we we fucking flip there from Tiso as he tries to deal some damage to units here. As the Claymore unit gets a bit too eager, wants to go into a fight here. You know what they're like, they mad Scotsmen, they can't help themselves, they like a fight. They're straight up coming here and wanting it. Yo, Eridan, thank you for the follow, buddy, welcome to the clan, appreciate it. As, the start, as they start to push in here now, they're starting to set the units up, obviously, here outside. But um, not really gonna gonna do any major push. They've got the Nam cans on the wall as well, which is really interesting. They've got Silidars up here. They've got Nam cans. They're gonna start to whittle down and start putting some bleeds on as many people as possible, trying to use that to their advantage. Well, Seacase is just sneaking in and around, doing his dual blade sort of stuff, protecting me up on the back right wall there. And so far. There's not really been a full on attack. We've got 10 minutes here. Unit wise, we're pretty even. They've only used one treb so far on the attack. Um, because there's not really very much you can treb. Uh, nobody really defends on top of the walls. But this tab right uh, side is where the boys of Temple Shot have got some units there. But they're also going down the far back, going to the supply point. They're trying to do a split push here by the looks of it. Splitting it up to confuse them. Trying to split as many of the boys away from each other so there's less of a cluster to fight. And all of a sudden. Did they think it would work twice? How naive. <laughs> so all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're on tab right side here, and then they're starting to set up on tab left here. Just one unit of modals in the back here, so they can't be flanked. They've potentially got an opportunity to go in and try and find options to then pins the units here. It does look, I believe, Elias has taken the fight up the stairs, though. They are fighting up the stairs, straight on, taking the fight. Two players, but they have Namcans in the back there. They have Flamers in the back there. Scientonic sees Scientonic sees that. He tries to jump on top of them, trying to deal the damage to the Flamers. As the Trebs start to come in there now, Temple Shots got guys firing that Treb in, and it's going to hit the top of the stairwell. It's going to hit a good chunk of units, but that might be a few friendly units in there as well. But the Modal at the top of the stairwell comes in. Here comes a charge of Palace Guards up the stairs. As that's happening, in the background, the vasectomy is capping the supply point. The hero wins. It's in favour of Tempo's team. They are starting to make their way down. Seven heroes alive on the defensive side. And so far, it's just a full-on push now here. Kicker Bobby's going to stop anybody getting any units out of that supply point. That'll be a free take of that supply point. They'll also get a freebie in vasectomy. It's getting chased away from Seoul here. Now you've got the full team of plebs ready to just make their way onto B, get B because there's not enough heroes to protect B and rotate their units around. They've got two supply points capped as well and they're capping B. You know, what a quick take that was. I don't know if blame Elias' push up that stairs was even worth it, but I have no idea if that is, that's exactly what they wanted to do. I have no idea. But so far, so good. For the plebs, they are uh, they are managing to get B. A lot of people haven't managed it yet, and there we go. We're getting a B cap, and now we're going straight towards home. Silver is making his way around. Let's uh, open up this again. Yep, nobody nobody's switched on any weapons or anything like that. We are all Gucci. Units are all set up here. Blame Elias is getting charged in the back here. Kicker, Seekus, see some units in here, but the heroes are all coming. The palace guys coming to protect here. Seekus is just standing there as he's dual blade, just watching, see what's there. Cap'n is getting done here. Silver goes on to the cap for free and starts to take a little bit of the point here as the heroes aren't paying attention. Manages to move the Harbinger Sergeants into almost treble position. But just avoids it a little bit as they move away. The Modal is still there as well. Starts to make their way around. You see Hussars in the back here. But the guys of Plebs are starting to make their way in. They see the opportunity. They know where they're defending that supply point. And they're just going to come straight into the centre here. There isn't enough units here on the home point to defend this. But it's Blame Elias thinking they're going to come from that supply point and manage to catch them all out here in the back here as it starts to get capped. Vasectomy with his Modal on the point here. Now the Hussars come in, but the Hussars are going to get stopped by Modal. He's literally waiting to go straight into Modal here as Blame Elias tried to do some sort of flanking from the back supply point here. It's, th it's worked a little bit, but not in favour of them. They're, they're literally away from the defensive point of side and that's it. They've got everybody from uh, Plebs in a position now to defend that point. They've got Hussars coming in they go and charging through. 
heroes are getting wiped, but it's not enough in the favour of Blame Alias here. A couple of heroes going either way there. Now we're down to 11 versus 13 here. Cav Charge is going to come across the, the whole home point here, but nothing really taken from There's not any units in there to deal with the units. Plenty of cost charges. But the heroes are surviving long enough on the point here, and so far it's 12 heroes in Pleb's favour against 7 in Blame Aliases. That'll start getting capped, and Amy's going to pick up that kill with Blood Story if he can. He's starting to deal damage, but Blood Story is... Oh, there's just, there's so many people just died there. That was literally a big wipe here. All in favour of Blame Elias there. Now we're back to 8v7. It's quite close here. Blame Elias managed that survive in that push. But their unit difference is 300 units. As you can see, Balfi is trying to fight off Matt on the supply point along with Wero and Flynn. Well, that's going on in the background just to stop them from capping and taking any units out here. So that's a good strategy there. Biggie's going to do the exact same on the other supply point. But Flynn and Balfi win that fight out there and... Wero uh, gets the uh, gets defeated, but um, they they managed to get the supply point over there now to get the units. There is like a 200 unit difference, but Blame Elias can take advantage of that if they can before all the units come in. As the point is getting capped because Amir was in Viz again, sneaks onto the point as Veggie chases him off. The fight is now getting taken on the top right supply point here. Blame Tomsky is just surviving for as long as possible. There's Cav everywhere. We've got Hussars going back here. There's a uh, Javelin is going to try and deal some damage in here. Kicker Tuso is there de dealing it with the Armagers. They're getting charged off here. As a unit of Claymores come in to charge there against the units. Everybody from Blame Elias is a, lo a little bit around the place. And we need to try and get a position here. <laughs> That's the freedom. That is the freedom charge. That was perfect timing. <laughs> that, was a, that was a perfect timing for that Claymore charge. Came in when that was working for me, but now the trebs come inbound here as is the unit of the supplies come in. It is quite close now. We got it down to almost a hundred unit difference, maybe just a little bit more. Than, well, 120, 130 unit difference here. The unit wise, we have Armagers on the on the defence here. You've got some javelins. You've got some Senji grenadiers, but in the attack, they've still got a full set of units ready to come out here as well and ready to go for their push as they start to make their way in the centre here. Followed. Straight up, all their units are starting to fall in. Mr. Tox trying to look for a way in and on the back here. There's a Fort Abrasio unit in the back. There's also a unit of uh, Sigillian Militia that Mr. Tox trying to pick away there. As the calf charge comes in, but Javelin stop the calf charge. That's a perfect Javelin throw. Literally stops it as Blame Alias has sent the calves in the other way as well. But both of them fighting tooth and nail here. Hussars tried to come in both sides here, but so far it is 15 v 14 hero wise, unit wise. We are losing a lot more on the defence. There is still about 150 unit difference here. As things stand in favour of Plebs. But Plebs heroes have got one less at this moment in time. But we're slowly, slowly fighting pretty well. This is a great fight here on the home point. Once again, heroes falling one for one on the other side. We're down to 11 v 11. Now it's a hero kill battle now. It is all down to the heroes here. Whatever unit we have available left. Because Blame Elias is losing their units so badly. They're down to 85 units. They've only got 7 heroes, but there's only 8 heroes on the attack side. Ami is trying to do some work here and get, get in this here. So surviving as the Nadashi. Surviving as long as he possibly can. Trying to knock the many heroes, but the units of Palace Guards and Medallas are going to get involved. As the cap starts to get capped here, the enemy are going to capture this potentially here. Can, uh, Synetic tries to jump on the point here as he's getting chased off. The heroes are winning the fight here. There's only two heroes of Blame Alias, Mr. Tuck and Matt X, that are surviving here. But the hero farm works in their favour. There is no heroes left. And the winners are Plebs because of the hero fighting farm. Plebs going to win it. That is a 2-0 win for Plebs. Well done, Plebs. You did a fantastic hero killing at the end there. You were wiping their heroes so quickly they, they didn't even know what was happening. They didn't even realise they'd even got damaged before they were dead. Um, your overall hero killer today there for this battle here was Amia with his seven hero kills. Their MVP kicker Minx New, MX New, whatever you want to call yourself. Um, three hero kills. 90 unit kills. 120 for Temple Shot. No hero kills but 10 assists. Guys work together as a group on your... Uh, on your defense, it was a pretty strong defense. It looked pretty good at times. You did wipe it. You did get the advantage of the heroes, but you didn't have the units. Eventually, it slowly whittled it down to the stage where the hero fight was where it was at. And then the hero fights were getting helped because 
Uh, all of the guys in Pleb still has some units that were able to some deal extra damage on these on these fights with the heroes, and that's going to make you win them fights quicker, and you're going to kill the hero a lot quicker. Uh, Blood Story survives for so long, was in the Dachi doing some work. If he had runes, it'd be a different story. We'd see what it'd be like then. But four hero kills for him, three hero kills for Mister Talk MVP, 121 unit kills, and that's it. That was a that was a good battle. There was a really really fought out battle. Um, some really good engagement, especially that home point there at the end. It looked very close. It was it was getting tooth and nail to the wire, but plebs pull through. They win the hero fights, and at one point there was no hero.